With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry, and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question, and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone, consider the given question. An example of a strong electrolyte is, so the four options are given. First one is glucose, second is urea, third is ammonium hydroxide, and fourth is sodium formate. So first we have to define that, what are the strong electrolyte? Electrolyte. So the compounds, the compounds that completely dissociate, that completely dissociates into its ion, into its ions when dissolved in water, when dissolved in water. For example, strong acid, strong acid and bases and some salt like such as example of such salt sodium formate that is SCWNA. This is the sodium formate etc. So they are the strong elect electrolyte and the weak electrolyte are those electrolyte weak electrolyte that is the partially dissociate partially dissociate into its ion in water for example weak acid and weak bases weak acid and bases so their example like ammonium hydroxide that is ns 4 over this is the weak base this is the weak base so it is a weak electrolyte not a strong electrolyte electrolyte because it partially dissociate in water etc so and there are some non electrolyte also non electrolyte non electrolyte they do not dissociate they do not dissociate into ions dissociate here should be c or oh, not t this is c dissociate into ions when dissolved in the water so for example of non electrolyte like glucose urea etc so we can clearly see that glucose and urea are the non electrolyte because they do not dissociate into its ion when dissolved in water and ammonium hydroxide is weak base so it is a weak electrolyte so only sodium formate that is SCWO and it is the strong electrolyte hence option number four is the correct choice thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today